For these continental scale regions, this is a run-up of bluest square kilometers as seen from space. See video text for methods. We start in Southeast Africa. A median filtered Landsat imagery, bluest African reflectance is from Lake Malawi, which is the southernmost lake of the continent's Great Rift Valley. Interestingly, greenest reflectance for the African continent is from the northernmost of these Great Rift Lakes. Then we go to East Asia, to another huge rift lake called Lake Kozlogol in far north Mongolia. It is nicknamed the Younger Sister in relation to the downstream, much more well-known Lake Baikal in the northwest of Russia. Next bluest is Europe, from the largest lake of the continent, Lake Ladoga, located in far west Russia, close to the Finnish border. Then on to the Australian continent, and continuing the trend of big and or deep dominantly clear lakes is Lake Wakatipu, a very deep, glacially scoured lake on the South Island of New Zealand. Next bluest is South America, a lake in the core of the Chilean Andes near the Argentina border. Couldn't find much info about this lake, but it did have three five-star reviews in Spanish on Google Maps. One indicates difficult to access, only four by four trucks. Another was just the paradise. A third was beautiful place without words, its crystal clear waters and the wonderful blue background. Then North America with Lake Tahoe, which straddles US states of California and Nevada, but it's a bit more in California. It's pretty well known for its clear waters, although there have been some contemporary concerns about contamination. It's also a well-known area for surrounding mountain beauty and tourism. It's a big lake, trailing only the five Great Lakes as the largest by volume in the US, and it's the second deepest in the US after Crater Lake in Oregon. And the bluest square kilometer on Earth is in West Asia. There's a system of lakes in West Central Tibet that have a very unusual blueness, even compared to the most blue lakes of all the other continents. I couldn't find any specific water chemistry data, so I'm not sure of the exact mechanism here. This is oblique imagery I found for one of these amazing remote lakes. They're spectacular, quite unique, being very high elevation, closed basin systems reported to be very highly alkaline and saline. There's something interesting and different going on with these lakes. For all the other lakes mentioned in this video, they're quite dark features that register high relative blueness because of fairly exceptional absorption of longer wavelengths. Looking back at Lake Tahoe, for example, with hyperspectral satellite data shown here top left, you see this characteristic spectrum signature for clear deep water with relatively high blue reflectance in relation to green and red. Lakes with high algae content, such as Mono Lake, which is just 100 some kilometers to the south of Tahoe, here top right, you get this shoulder of higher reflectance through green before trailing off into red, resulting in blue-green and green-colored lakes. Lakes with high suspended sediment content have higher reflectance right across the visible spectrum, such as shown here for a kind of muddy coastal marsh lake. In extreme cases, such as with some very turbid glacial lakes, you can get much greater reflectances right across into reds, resulting in a more milky appearance. This is then our final map of bluest square kilometers by region. All are fairly significant lakes, many being among the few largest and or deepest at the continental scale. Most are generally known for having especially clear water, very low in algae and suspended sediment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.